this, okay? It's like this. You drop that little mustard seed in there, it's got to sprout, and you're not even going to see it sprout at first. Then you're going to start seeing it pop out. And it's going to start growing. So it's kind of like this. Like the people that I email, for instance. The overcomers. You people. Mustard seed. Now, I don't want to call us a group, but how about a band of people? Or, or, or just us into contact with each other. When we start coming into contact with each other, the move is starting then. Which is why we had to be pushed far enough not to cut each other's heads off. You know what you know, I know what I know. We eat, we all have corrections coming. But when we start coming to contact, it's starting to move. So I and whatever few of you I'm talking to through emails, whatever, is happening. But there's gotta be somebody over in uh, Germany that talks German. I don't talk German. With those few people, guy over at Vladimir something, something in Russia, who knows? They're out there making contact. Now, don't, don't go over the internet looking for them. Just sit back and relax. Let him. He'll draw you. You go out searching for whoever you, you might want to wind up into a false scenario. Because remember, there's tears as well. Those who look like the real thing. Be very careful. So don't worry, he's going, he's going to get you there anyway. He said you already overcame. So why, why worry about that? So all over is a band here and a band of people. They're small bands. And eventually the bands will meet the bands as we're going to go over. Because the king's describing you different aspects of how this move starts. That's what he's trying to illustrate here. And he says that the kingdom of heaven is likened. Of course, it applied back then, but I'm talking about the last day's version of the actual kingdom coming forth out into the open world scene where we can be recognized as a kingdom. That's the aspect I want you to see from this, not what, of how it applied back then. It matters even more so in, right now in our day because this is the establishment of the kingdom, okay? Let's go over the next part. Going on down, this is a verse 33. And another parable spoke he unto them. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto leaven, which a woman took, and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leavened. Hid till the whole was leavened. Here's the earth. And within the whole earth, out of 8 billion people, that's the measure of meal. And out of the earth, there, there are um, wheat and tares, good seed, bad seed, right? The, the believers, within all the believers of the Bible, whether Christian or Hebraic or whatever, within that whole lump of Bible believers, if you will, is hidden inside all around the earth, all at the same time, is the leaven, is hidden within. The yeast is hidden within till the whole was leavened. That's why he don't separate the wheat from the tares till it's time. But we're out and about. Now, how many of you have went to the churches like me? You was within it too, but then, this has been going on a lot, especially over the last decade, people separating from the churches like you and me, because you saw the lies. Now, the, it's being separated, we're separating, but within it, we're being leavened to the whole was full, till we're finished in our full training, you see. We started off somewhere, hidden here, hidden within it. But then we come out more and more and we're leavened. We're leavened. That's a good form of leaven in this particular instance here. Till we're completed and we're nearing that. That's what's happening. Why we come into contact with each other. 
because we got nowhere else to go anyway. The nominal Christian is going to reject you no matter what. Isn't that true? We'll go over the next one. You know what? Let's, let's not go over it anymore. I think that's good enough. I, I think, you know what? That's far enough. I think that's far enough. The parallels are there. We've been there all along. Now that we've matured enough up to this point and prepped for the kingdom training in Zion and all these signs are here, we're about to begin our 1290 to 1335 days. But if it did start from 23, we still have a good, good long time. We have enough time. I'm not for 2022. But the signs are there. I see three Passovers. But I also see this one this year as when we start to rise up. As he was resurrected, I can start to see where any time now and we're starting to come into contact with each other. So if I'm able to contact with a handful of you, it's going on elsewhere. Because it's like this. We are his body. I'm an ugly one, but I'm just you. I'm, all right, we're a body. A body has all these different parts. Elbow does what an elbow does. Knee, stomach, hair, the ears, the eyes, all these different parts of the body is a part of the body. So I can't have my hand, or at least you just, I can't have my leg walk over there to the corner, but the rest of the body stands here. If this leg makes it to that corner right there in this room, by force interpretation, the rest of the body has to go with it. The stomach can't sit here while the rest of the body goes over there. The body, where one part of the body moves, or my body, it all goes to the same place because the organs, or the stomach's over here, my lung wants to go over there, my eyeball's going outside. No, the body stays where the body stays. It moves together accordingly. His body. And he's the administrator of it. So if things are happening to you and to me, by force interpretation, the rest of the body is going through similar and the same at the same time but we can't see it and we can't prove it. But he is the one in charge of the whole body, you see. The same king operating in all of us at the same time. So that's how I know that it's happening elsewhere. What happens in one part, all of it. We're all the same body. Of course, there's some further behind and all that. Forget about that part. Okay, so I'm illustrating that we're close for this move to begin. We, you, we have our three count. I got way off and so many other things, but it all goes together because it takes time for 12, 90 days or whatever to get it all done before this great tribulation phase comes. And most people agree 2030 or 2031 is the end of it. And I'm not saying time the king. We know he's come. We don't know the day or hours to turn. They say we. Well, he says lift up your head. Your redemption's drawing nigh. Yeah, we know it's close. He's, he's talking about his 24-hour day of return. All right, we're all gonna know the mark of the beast is here. The false prophet, antichrist. Come on, we know it's the last time, last days, and it's almost time. Common sense. That's not what he's talking about. But yet he tells us the time, the day of the abomination of desolation. Now, think about that one. Why not the day of the king's return, but yet the abomination of desolation to the day? Right? I went over this in my Antichrist and his image uh, videos. I'm not going over that again. <coughs> so we are close. It's actually happening. So what's happening here? happening elsewhere. There's people all over the earth. 
and the whole leaven within all believers upon the earth were being leavened behind the scenes where we can't see it and prove it, but that Bible proves it for us, and through faith we believe in that because it says so. There's our proof. You can't go out there and find them no more than I can, but we'll find ourselves led to where we need to go and do who we need to go to to go through this building of the kingdom. That's what I'm trying to show you. And this eclipse, this is it. There's nothing on the time schedule of any sort of sign anywhere after this point. Maybe in 100, 150 years from now, the world ain't going to last that long. <laughs> There's nothing left. This is it. This is the sign. This is the one. This is it. So you could pick any of the three years. From today, we got 589 days left. Now, if we get in a warp speed, we can make it. Still possible. Unlikely, but... I mean, the, the things that match up is really quite peculiar, but he is highlighting these days as well for a reason. For someone who's looking and reading it like a book, if you will. But you got to have the right calendar, too, in order to get the story. So that's where we are. There's your three counts. I gave you all three counts. It's from Passover of 22, 23, or 24. It's got to be one of those three. Sorry, it has to be. I can't see 2025. <laughs> We're not going to make it that long. Let alone that they're going to do something for these elections and blow everything up. Come on, it's, it's going to happen. And the Iran thing over there is not over. All right? That was the pin prick. The big stuff's coming. But first thing we get are signs first. Which kind of makes me point right towards Pentecost. Whether it's the one in June, the, the version of uh, May 31st, is it? Or the one in July. I don't know. We're just going to have to see. So I, I'm more towards it's the one in July. But whether he pours out his spirit, I don't know that either. Nobody knows. We can only make guesses. They're good ones. Especially with what happened so far this year. But then we might be sitting around for another year. But that still doesn't matter. We're still growing and we're still training during that time. It doesn't stop. The process doesn't stop at all. We're continuously moving forward. Whether we can see it or not, he sees it. Word confirms it. We're 11. We're growing we're growing inside. We're still growing. That's a good leaven. Puffing up in the good, the good stuff. So, the, uh, But there's your answers. Hopefully I helped you a little bit. We're there. It's happening. We're starting to come into contact with each other. That's the sign. But that's going to accelerate. But the good stuff I want to go over in the vengeance of the temple of how... It kicks off as described in Scripture. Then it becomes clear. How are we going to get the wealth? How are we going to do this, 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 that? Well, it takes the vengeance of his temple, which causes in Peter, book of Acts, the restoration of all things. Romans chapter 8, redemption of the body. All of this all at the same time. He's not going to poof it in 24 hours. First, we got to start showing up to the places of safety, which, caught, which is necessitated by giving the wealth and all that. And probably during that time, the woman starts showing up as we're progressing because they can't show up. And then the very next day, the 12, they all show up on one day in 24 hours, and then, then 1260 days of tribulation starts. No, they had to start showing up at some point. But as we're growing, but as they see us growing, hence my next teaching, not next teaching, but mentions of the temple teaching, as they're seeing this, and they're, we're getting his power confirmed upon us, they're going to start drawing to us because they're like, whoa, these guys have got it, and the churches don't. Tares from the wheat start to be separated too, right? Because now the church can't 
duplicate what we're going to do, they won't have the power confirmed upon them. Now, will they? Now, the good seed and these tares are starting to show who's who, you see. The counterfeit suddenly shows up. They don't look so righteous anymore. Now, all of a sudden, the good seed really is shown that they have his confirmation on us. And it's not going to fall upon anyone else. So that too, take into consideration. So we look so, so righteous out there in the Christian community today. Won't look so good tomorrow. So people, lift up your heads. You don't have very much longer. Either way it goes, no matter which of these counts is the right one or not, my money's on 24, but... That doesn't mean you got all this waiting. We got a lot of work to do. We gonna need some time. And this is the one that does with this sign we just had not just weeks ago. Come on, people. Sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? I mean, it's just, just screaming in our face, but it could still be 23. It could be. We don't know. We're gonna find out. Either way, these are our three possibilities. These are the ones. One of the three. One of the three Passovers, one of the three days. One of them has to be the one. With world conditions today, anything can happen at any time. And the leaven that's been leavening and the mustard seeds planted around the world that he's done that we can't know, we don't see who's who, whatever, how we want to see that, is out there and it's, we're going to be in contact with each other, things are going to start happening, the vengeance of his temple, the acceptable year the Elohim has to come, the year of recompenses, Isaiah, I'll dig that up later, not on this one, all of this, all at the same time, there's a lot of stuff all at the same time. So, it, yeah, it's going to be warp speed. And once it starts in, in full gear, you're not going to care about no waiting. You're not going to have any lack of joy. You can, you're going to like, <laughs> sure. You're going to want to sit and enjoy the power and the glory that's coming. So what's there to complain about? Nothing. It's all right, so I'll try to shut up. There's your counts. That's what we have to work with. There's the rules. We start with a Passover. There's your three chances. One of those three is going to win. Either way, it doesn't matter. Because even with 2024 beginning our count, that means the stuff starts real soon. Either way, you, just, you stack it. We win and I don't see much of a wait. We got some world events, we got World War III and all that. We've got to go through all that still, yeah, but a kingdom in the midst of all stuff breaking loose is going to be established even in troublous times. So that being said, uh, that's good enough. Hopefully I've helped a little. <laughs>